Hello, hello, hello! Welcome back to my channel. This is Saki. 皆さんこんにちは。ニューヨーク在住芸術系大学院生の Saki です。How have you been, everybody? I know it's crazy. It's been two weeks since I posted the previous video. I've been super busy with、uh, many projects in the summer. I sometimes post Instagram stories, so some of you already saw it. But I had a big project of filming. I have my own online theater project. So I had to spend a lot of time to make a show and rehearsal. So it was a bit hard for me to create a new video. I still have a couple projects in the summer, but things got better, so here I am. I kind of felt bad to keep you waiting, but also I've learned a lot、uh, from what I'm doing now as an artist, so I need it this time. So thank you so much for waiting. And thank you for 50,000 subscribers! Wow, I cannot believe it. It's really crazy that 50,000 people watch my YouTube channel. Wow, thank you so much for your support. So today I'm gonna introduce myself again, but in English this time. I made my cringy introduction video as my first one、uh, a couple months ago, and I think I need to update it. So let's get started. So I am Saki. I am 24. I'm gonna be 25 actually next month, August 5th. I am originally from Nara, Japan, and I live in New York City right now, and I've been here for almost two years. I was born and raised in Japan. This is actually my first time to live outside of my country, except the family trip for a short period, like two weeks of study abroad. So, if you w a n t to know my English experience before coming to the States, please check out my another video about my tips of learning English. I went to International Christian University, majored in sociology and media study. I was doing a job hunting when I was junior to senior, but I couldn't ignore myself wanting to. Try for a grad school and learn theater directing. And there's a video about why I decided to go to a grad school. So if you haven't watched it, please check it out. And then here I am in New York City. So I study theater directing and pursue my MFA degree, which is Master of Fine Arts. And also I learned acting as part of my curriculum. I started learning film after the pandemic, which led a lot of theater people to the film industry because we all lost our job in theater. And since then, I work a lot in the film industry as well. In my old introduction video, I said I work both as A director and an actor, but I stopped taking my job as an actor unless I can also do directing or designing because I'm focusing on my career as a director more, so I don't call myself as an actor anymore. I call myself as interdisciplinary artist. It's hard to pronounce, which is kind of similar to what we call multimedia artist. So it basically means you create art in many ways, including theater, film. Visual art or performing art. And speaking of my visa, because a lot of people asked, I am here as a student, which means I have a F1 visa, but I got CPT, which is curricular practical training, and it allows international students to gain work experience related to their major. So I can work with my CPT now, but mostly I work for free to get a credit. And instead of getting paid, they cover my transportation fee or lunch. So it's not a technically a job or work. If you say that I'm paid job, it's not a job, but I call them job or work because either way, I have to work professionally. I am in the summer break now, so I don't have any class, but I've been doing quite a few projects outside of the school during the summer. So let's talk about my YouTube channel. I regard my YouTube channel as a place to share my thoughts or my experience in New York City. My initial thoughts about the contents of my YouTube channel was about my process of applying for a grad school because I was the one who was really struggling with finding some information about MFA and wanted to help the future young artists. But things got a bit shifted, which is great. So now I upload some videos about artists. Theater, my life and learning in New York City, and also English. And I really enjoy this platform, even though I'm the one who shares something. People who watch my video, can I call them fans? Is it weird? It sounds weird to me. Do I have fans?
Anyway, they also share me back their thoughts or their experiences as their comments, which is so lovely. And I like this style of communication through this platform. And I also learn a lot from your comments. So thank you. To be honest, I wasn't gonna make a video about English because I've studied English for a while and I know there are a lot of people who study way more than me or who had a lot of knowledge more than me. So I thought I was not the one who should share something about English. I'm not gonna lie everyone. My experience and my knowledge are so limited. So that's why I always suggest to watch other people's videos if you really want to improve your English. Anyway, but one of my friends kindly asked me to make one because she studies English very hard for her future and she's my real friend. I wanted to help her so why not? So I made one. And then through the reaction of people to my first English video, I realized that, oh, maybe I could share something. I am not professional, but at least I can share my process. So that's why I started to make some in English too. And speaking of the balance between my work slash craft life and my YouTube channel, uh, as you may know, I even cannot post once a week when my work gets so busy and I want to avoid getting too busy, like not free enough to post once a week. But I'm here to learn, I'm here to grow, and I'm here for my future. So I want to prioritize what I'm doing as an artist. And yes, I want to meet your request. I know that many people are eager to see a video about a real conversation in New York City. And I will definitely do when I have a chance. But it would be great if you could understand my dream and my situation here. And I'm saying this because I really appreciate each of you, each of your comments every time I post something. It really gives me the energy to move forward. So again, thank you for your continuous support. So the last thing is my favorite quote, which is gonna be in Japanese. 私の好きな言葉は何のない人生は無難な人生何のある人生はありがたい人生という言葉です多分小学生とか中学生ぐらいの時に筆談ホステスのサイトリエさんっていう方を通してこの言葉を知りましたちゃんと調べてみると仏教